the formidable robot. Finally, I got the internet working again. I've been checking out part 2 and things go south. The next tape I uncovered was another clip from the same episode. This time, it was brand new footage, somewhat like a storyboard, with complicated dialogue. Maybe a deleted scene? The scene started with SpongeBob walking to the Krusty Krab in silence. His thought bubble was heard. I've got, I've got to, to get, get to Patrick, Patrick and, that and, that and that secret, secret box. box. It's, it's driving, driving me barnacles. barnacles. He thought, as he opened the Krusty Krab doors. He noticed something off. Fred, the famous brown fish, was missing. SpongeBob went up to Squidward. Hey Squid, do you notice anyone missing? Squidward silently looked around, when he noticed his board look shifted to confusion. Not really, why? SpongeBob looked at the empty spot. Shouldn't Fred be sitting there? SpongeBob asked. Squidward audibly sighs. Your guess is as good as mine. The bubble transition screen shown with Patrick and Fred talking and drinking. So, I heard you used to sell coats. Patrick started. Yeah. I've worked on the same brown shoes for quite some time. Patrick and Fred drank their drinks. Just as Fred was about to leave, Patrick came out of nowhere and smashed Fred over the head with a glass bottle. Fred collapsed. When Fred woke up, he noticed that he was tied up like a patient in a hospital bed. Patrick came in with a surgeon's outfit. Leaving so soon, I was just about to keep something secret. Patrick said coldly. You'd hear screaming from Fred and slicing noses, I mean noises, before you heard a sharply loud My leg! from Fred. The bubble transition screen appeared again, this time showing SpongeBob pacing around his room. Occasionally, there was text on his walls written in green saying, Patrick's not your friend, and best friends forever. A weird detail, in a SpongeBob episode. Strangely enough, yes. Thomas sent an email saying that according to forums he contacted, the faceless SpongeBob and Patrick models were ripped from another story. Damn douchebags. I shouldn't focus more on my anger, focus on the job, that's what I say. SpongeBob stopped pacing as Mr. Krabs came in. Sheesh boy, you just bailed out on the Krusty Krab like a pirate abandoning ship. Mr. Krabs said concerned. What's gotten you in ye rocks, boy? Mr. Krabs asked, sitting on the bed next to SpongeBob. It's Patrick. He's got this box. And he's keeping it a secret. Mr. Krabs sighed. Look, boy, it's best that some secrets are kept and revealed. Mr. Krabs said. During the phrase, it cuts to Patrick stuffing Fred's corpse cut in pieces into the box and grinning like a madman. I couldn't figure out the entire story. It felt like a re-edited version of the episode. Nothing seemed ARG level, that is, until a piece of paper fell from the VHS cover. A website called, Patrick is not my friend. The domain looked corrupted, just a jumble of letters and numbers in a weird pattern. It turns out the domain didn't exist and shut down just two weeks after the ARG was cancelled. To this day, I'm getting a DVD player online, but it looks like scalpers like to sell them for $500, double or triple the amount, than what it normally goes for. Well, time for Goodwill and thrift stores. I'll be back with part 3. Things go south just from this alone. <laughs>